it's a great opportunity for me to, to be driving here in Spa. It's a track uh, I know, uh, so it will help to get up to speed. And now let's see how it goes, but I'm looking forward to it and I'm ready. But now he's right on Alonso's tail, isn't he? And surely with DRS, this is the chance for Esteban Ocon to get into the points. Hulkenberg is there as well. Ocon does manage to get into 10th place. Hulkenberg might snatch it off him though. Ocon gets into turn one just ahead of the Renault. Perez and Ocon, fourth and fifth for Force India. Yes! Woo! As the two Force Indians collide there and there's big damage Both to damage. Perez's front wing. Both damage. Damage, damage. The car just pointed to, to the left, possibly. We cannot be doing this type of, of uh, incidents between us, you know. We run the, a great opportunity for the team. Obviously, it's never nice to, to get an incident like that in the race. I mean, me and Checo lose a lot of, uh, of places. Perez and Ocon, oh, as we go down and right on board with Ocon oh, towards the region. And once crazy. again, they have touched. The two Force Indians get too puncture. close together, and it is a puncture for Sergio Perez. And that is his race absolutely ruined. As Ocon trying to go down the inside, Perez cut him off. What the f is this guy doing? What the hell? He's supposed to be a professional driver. Today he hasn't shown it, he has never done that with uh, with any other teammates. I don't know why is he doing that with me. Oh, can't go straight past his best ever qualifying in Formula One. The rain came down to give Force India one of their greatest ever days. Just about, that is P3, P3. You're joking, you're joking. Woo! Well done guys, well done. That was fantastic and I put a clean lap and managed to get third, so yeah, let's let's bring it on tomorrow. Right, just ahead of Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, his teammate. Now they're going to wheel to wheel the two four cities and yes, they did touch. It's Baku from last year, it's Spa from last year, all over again, and it's Ocon who is squeezed into the wall by his teammate. The only thing I'm going to analyze at the moment is just that we had a great pace uh, with both cars, that we were you know, supposed to have a great race, both cars in the, in the points, and that at the moment I'm talking, uh, we'll have no points uh, for both cars. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a terrible weekend. And that is Max Verstappen, the race leader. Not really sure what the Force India was trying to do at that point in a back marker. Oh, I mean, you go through the field, we had a great car, and then uh, that's, such, that's, that's such an idiot. You get taken out while he's, he's being lapped. I, uh, I have no words. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to all the people uh, that support uh, and gave me a lot of support this year uh, for my cause. Uh, a lot of people felt it was not right, I was not going to be on the grid uh, uh, next year. And uh, to the, the fans, the team members, uh, the media also, they gave me a lot of support and, the dri and some drivers. I would like to yeah, tell them a big thank you and say uh, that I will be back uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, so excited. Uh, it's it's just fantastic times, you know, to to getting back uh, into into competition. Esteban Ocon take a bow. His first podium in Formula One. P2, Esteban. Woo! Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Keep going. Woo! Yes. Ah. Oh.